This is kind of a feature editor. I wrote this at around the beginning of the year and I kept pushing it back because it's kind of different from the other ones I do. There's no real center point or theme. There's no review in this one really. It's more like an overview of parts of the plot and what it liked here and there. And that's basically it. You can skip this one. I honestly don't care. <laughs> So I mentioned this one in the post about what VNs came out in 2021 and how I saw it. No one really talked about this one. So I checked the NDB and it's like, oh, see what people think about it. And there's only 60 votes on it. And it's probably because they just saw it's like, oh, it's a middling score and they didn't bother. But my dumbass goes for these because sometimes, yeah, maybe there's something there that I like. I'm not going to say you can find an 8 or a 9 when the average is 5 or 6. Sure, it's possible on a personal rating, but it's not an objective one. And yeah, this one is a 6, but it's a fun 6. And that's better than a boring 7. And it's why I have all these like 6 plus 1, 7 minus 1 shit, right? And the reason behind the score is that it shares a lot of the problems with something like Trino Line. Half of the soundtrack in Gene is fucking amazing, though it's coupled with really odd choices for some of them, like one of the villain themes. It honestly breaks the mood when that guy shows up. The art isn't so generic that I confuse it with like 10 other titles, and some of the voice acting is really well done. On the other hand, the backdrops for them leave much to be desired. They're pretty boring to look at. The protagonist looks oddly familiar to Adol from East or Wise, depending on how you pronounce it, right? And there's a funny story about it, but I'll save it for later when I talk about the endings. A good amount of scenes are done well, but it has a problem with pacing and drags on here and there. Especially the first couple of sections after the prologue and the clock tower. The funny thing is that I felt it dragged a lot harder during the clock tower sections. One of the largest issues I've had with it is how it's displayed. It's written in this ADV format, but has huge emphasis on narration and ADV just doesn't do that justice. It just breaks the pacing too much and is better off with a mix of two or you just go full force in NVO format like in Kira Kira or Musicus. Basically, the flow was being cut anytime they weren't talking, and it's like three pages worth of scripters. It's like, dude, just make it into a page, make it into MVL. What are you doing? An easy example that most people have read is like FSN or Tsukihime, where yeah, there's just lines upon lines of text, and it works fine. It's just better type of MVL format for it. There's also something I can't really pinpoint with the text box. I feel like I had to move my eyes more more than normally. So I made the whole resolution smaller just to avoid that. I don't think it's a problem with most people, just with me. I don't know why I had it. I mentioned the art before, but something that's normally off is when the porn scenes happen. It's not even that there's too many of them, because it's around 16 out of 100 or so sections. Some of them are just pretty lengthy, especially the one in the beginning. And I'm not even blaming who made the art, but whoever decided to take out the mosaics. Those are some weird looking dicks. There's one track that's used a lot in these scenes, and it's some generic ass 70s porn track. Those scenes weren't meant for you to get hard anyway, but I'm not sure if I'd rather have silence or just have some really low horror ambient. Honestly, they could have removed most of them. They don't really serve a purpose. Some of them kind of do, but they also overextend their welcome. Anyways, it's not the most well-written plot. It's generic at points, but overall I liked it a lot. So the whole plot is that the main character Roland is a paratrooper unit, and he, alongside his friend, gets isekai They find themselves in this force, and they're chased by Edwalda, who's pretty fucking hot. They supposedly die, but Roland wakes up near the clock tower and meets Jean. Jean doesn't know shit because all she knows is a secluded location surrounded by force, where you can't really enter or leave, or you just fucking die. They figure out these mechanisms to move the tower to try to find Roland's friend and going back to his own world alongside figuring out who Jean really is. And I think most people would actually like the VN if they hit one or two boxes, like you might enjoy it if you find history interesting. Sure, it's not a real rendition of it, but I've had fun going through it, right? They also made Edward the Black Prince and this really hot lady on Walda. You could say it's, oh, it's like the same thing as Face Day Night, right? You could also just be interested in Iskai that puts the main character as a holy knight, or you're really into anything that puts any kind of semblance of religion into a game. So yeah, there were scenes in it where it's not something that's mind-blowing, but I was getting emotional just from the combination of music and Jean's piety and what's going on. I'm not even religious, but that stuff just stays with you if you were made to go when you're a child. So there's some light spoilers on the characters, like Adol is my favorite character. She keeps showing up just to be in Roland's face, and that's because it contains something specific in him, but it gradually just changes to like, oh, she's just kind of into him. And she keeps on showing up like that. And then they bring it up that like, oh, her forte is actually military tactics, so she should be more in the back lines, but she's just like, no, fuck it. I'm the strongest of Vanguard 2 in my group, and I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna beat this asshole, and it's gonna be fun, and I enjoy my time doing it that way. Jean is the main character, but she's honestly kind of boring until the second half. I like the other Jean way better for kind of the same reasons I like the Waldo, where they're just in your face in a way that's not annoying. Giles or Giles, I don't I think it's just Giles is an edgelord, but handles it well. Then there's Marie that's also pretty cool on how they wrote her into the plot into two specific points. Honestly, Eduardo, Marie, and Tafania, I think her name is, were probably the highlights of the game, especially in some endings, and maybe like two other battles. 
There's a lot of antagonists with different degrees of severity, and the problem is a lot of them are just kind of boring to read about. Half of them are just spoilers, but it's mainly Pierre Cachon, and he takes up a good part of the plot, but he's relatively boring to go through. Even the Templar Knight, which had like maybe an hour's worth of screen time, had way better moments than that guy. So here's the actual spoilers, this is where I'm going to talk about the later segments and the ending. At this point, Jean and the other Jean, who is just normally called as the Witch, know that they're both put out of John Dark at like different intervals, right? They're actually in a land that's somewhat akin to purgatory, like, but mainly the ones that reside in there are somewhat attached to John's curse where she was just getting burnt alive. Roland just gets iskai there by a specific person that I'll just talk about that later. Anyways, uh, Jean can dissolve their sins and that's basically her power and it's one of those little things where a couple of them should have been killed off but she forgives them anyway and that's part of like, oh, the religious beliefs, oh, you have to forgive everybody. I'm like, oh, fuck you guys, you should die. Every time she does it, the sins go into her and it's pretty important later on. Throughout the the plot at Walda just shows up like I said and just impedes them and it's pretty funny and generally the highlight of the scenes. Jean and the witch get captured and now Roland alongside Gal goes to the fortress to get them back from Kaushan. There's a really good scene in that fortress with Tefania and then it just ends because like well it's done. Ed Wal actually there was like two good scenes. Uh, Edwalda also shows up but it actually helps them out this time around but that was kind of a thing for the last or two times anyway so it's not like oh this is surprising but that's what makes her cool. Edwalda is just fucking cool right? And then Roland just gets invited by Ganelon to serve for Charlemagne. Roland agrees to help him out but he's like nah I'm only going to serve Jean anyway and he's like alright cool whatever but really Charlemagne's just an asshole so he tricked Roland to call the forces that can only be called by like uh Roland's horn thing. So they're getting called, then they fuck everything up, and now Roland and Jean are wiping them out. At this point, you know Milady's one of the antagonists with no shock by anybody. You also learn that Ganelon is Roland's old friend Olivier. Again, with no shock to anyone, Olivier kills off Charlemagne and becomes the new king and basically fights Roland with the Lance of Longinus to stall for time. Since Jean just got captured again. There's two ways of ending the fight, one better than the other, but they finally reconcile the difference differences and there's more to it but you can really read it yourself. This is a very brief summary I really don't care about. It's not what I want to talk about. At this point Edwalda and Marie are fighting as well and they kill off each other and it works out but they're also two of my favorite characters now they're both gone. It's like this is some sad times man so it feels bad. So Jean is a semi-savior. It's like how it always been, right? She's strapped to the cross from what I remember was sick into her. It's like the sins that she was collecting and like all oh, these are now the nails because she was still pure. And the reason for that is Milady or Morgan wants to do some magic shit and basically birth herself through Jean to be the next advancement of the human species by removing like original sin. Again, there's different ways of this handling it or how it ends and one of them is having your plan being a success. So there's a decent amount of endings. There's even one in the middle where if you decide to cheat in duel, you basically forfeit. And then Edwalda just gets rolling in that ending. And, and it's basically, he becomes a sex slave. It's like, oh, I'm like, ah, Edwalda's kind of hot though. But yeah, there's another ending where Jean commands the Lance of to stab herself. And because she dies, Milady's control of the few factors goes away and it gives them enough time and roll into just impale her with the Lance as well. And with that also deviates to a couple new endings depending on your choices before. So there's like a witch ending where after she dies and Milady dies, it's pretty bad time, but Roland becomes like that new edge lord. He invades the original world back in with his new powers and also summons basically all the warriors from the other world and all the forces that he called from World War like one or whatever. And you know, at Waldo's back and Olivier's back, it's like yeah, it's a pretty good time. And honestly, I like the ending, it's pretty funny. Like there's one part where I showed the image to some of my, uh, to my, some of my friends, right? And they're like, what the fuck? Why is Mushroom Knox in that VN? And it's basically just that Dave Chappelle skit from uh, like decades ago with Prince. So I just I just imagine like, oh, Falcon looked at it. It's like, hey, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm taking it. And yeah, I like that in a lot because it was just, the ending was just Roland being fed up with humanity based on how Gene had to die a second time and he's like, fuck this world. Like no one understands her values, so everybody just gets to die right now. And then there's just, like two good endings where one is like the normal ending, one's the happy ending. Honestly, the happy ending is boring outside of maybe the section where Oliver and Undine come back. Uh, spiritually at least, like to congratulate them. I felt like the normal ending did a lot better where Roland got sent off to his own world and his forces find him in the ocean, rescue him. Then time passes and I was an old man praying to the Cross. And in his final moments, he sees Jean again and she grabs him and they're off to the next world. It's like, oh, that's nice. So all in all, I had a fun time with this one. Sure, there's parts that drags on, the porn drags on, and there's no real backlog because I think it's frimpy. Basically, just jumping back one scene at a time is annoying. It's kind of expensive. 
but I've seen on sale like two or maybe three times. And it's like at $30 at that point, it's kind of worth it. Like a lot of the music is great. Edwald is fucking great. Marie's great. As long as you can slog through the first like quarter of the VN, it becomes fun. It's not something that I'd recommend to everybody. And you know, maybe it's in like my top hundred VNs or something.